Explosions and shouts from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Crossed. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey... And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Well, perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. 
There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine. That's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. Watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we faster there. Tomorrow they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. How do you defeat it? 
That will be for you to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps?
on this. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. And I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will.
You'll do. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're going to let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... 
This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. Outcast or bleed, your choice. Make way, make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come, I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue.
there. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Interesting. Jog! Get down from there! Batten up your trunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Get down from there! Listen now. carefully oh, now. that's just what you wanted! Well, you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other. I wish we got to enjoy this every night, not just special occasions. Though they took a vote. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Always happy to take your shards. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. Hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Ar and Ar slavers. Hey, hey. Ruminants Hold of your fruit, nor, uh, uh. nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. 
The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karch. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Right, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <coughs> People of the Torah, all men. On the eve of the unknown device, he's wearing a focus, no, just like mine. The Karja stand with you as the sun fights. I won't deny it. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora, wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll, I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. No, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. 
So now the sun sits on the throne, and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things, arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? For the gods to judge the cards, and not me. The past should be left in the past. are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern Crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. my mother, whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. prayer. What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, Passes the chain of love. Of course, Faust is going to win. There's Owen. I have some questions for him.
That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. Yeah, well, good luck in that proving thing. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you in Meridian someday. Who knows? Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. 
You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? We saw you talking with the out- Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well-rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Razor. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urbala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! No way but forward now. Oh, my 
She is a brave now. We did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Ah! Ah! Introduced. Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there?
We can't hold them! Now, descend while we have a chance.
dying. They must have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? Where's my focus? Where are they? I should keep looking. I'm picking up some kind of signal. like the room there with the rest of my things Just because I look like you. 
Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Complicated, please just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. about come what is this place the great chamber where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Oh. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Oh, he was one of the outsiders. 
The night before the proving, the killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the Goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a Seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May All Mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all Mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. So, I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all Mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see.
Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, O oh Mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the Gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a Seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness the for the sins closed. that brought such we misery on the, the tribe. Mark. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours she to saved theirs. Many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. Need them soon enough. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Everything's sharp and looming in the rain. Ah, uh, the outcast approaches. Ignore her. Continue the report. Aloy! There are rumors of a deep Aloy! race. Temp? Dark metal and mother that corrupts every machine it touches. You're alive. Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. Who is they? Varl and his followers. They tried to stop it, but I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. So was that? Brace 
Get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! Other machines. What's its secret? We How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? Tev? What are you doing here? You're a stitcher, not a brave. I came to help defend Mother's Watch. But I never imagined I'd see anything like this. You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <laughs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves, I want that gate repaired immediately. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. Full already.
I need to test this device. See what it can do.